Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. We just received news of several recent Bigfoot sightings of at least two Sasquatch individuals that have been spotted by several different individuals near a remote fly-in community of northern Ontario, situated about 350 kilometers north of Thunder Bay Lake Superior. We were also forwarded a video with the Bigfoot trackway in hard-packed sand that goes into a long grass marshy area and heads into the forest. Other witnesses that have also seen these two creatures have come forward. There are Bigfoot style trackways in the video and several people in the community commented on that video. I am going to go over the local man's report that's sent to us and then I will go over several witness report who have commented after seeing the trackway video. To keep witnesses anonymous, I am going to use only their first names or initials. DRA writes RMSO. Hello, I am from a small community from northern Ontario, about 350 kilometers north of Thunder Bay. I myself never seen one, but we have a lot of sightings here around my community. Just the other day, a couple of community members seen two, a big one and a small one. Even my sister seen one. They say they are spirits. That is all. My friend smelt where the odor was so bad. The sightings go back way back. Just info for you that they are here. Four or five days ago, a couple of community members seen two big ones and a small one not far from our community. That's the second time in the same area. Lots of sightings, mainly on the east side of our community where there are hills. And I'm not pulling your leg on this information. RMSO responds, sounds like a family of them in the area. DRA continues, watch this video and see what you think. This is up in Fort Hope, Ontario, north of Thunder Bay, and we call the area Thomas Bridge Sand Hill. Now here is the video and what do you think of it? That was this morning. RMSO responds, wow, that first track was really nice appears to have a long stride too. DIRA comments back. I'm not the one who took this video, but it was a local man that did. North of Thunder Bay. It's a fly-in community. And then he states, in your own word, is that a Sasquatch footprint or a human? DRA then sends us a map of the area and states, where I circle in white is where all the sightings are at. The bottom left side of the photo, where the X is, we call that area Pioneer Ridge. At the top on the left side of the X is Thomas Bridge. You see how close it is to our community? RMSO responds, that first track he films is indeed Bigfoot shape. Looks nothing like a human. It's a good looking track. I see in the comments of his video he states the track was a couple inches bigger than his shoe size nine and a half. A nine and a half shoe is around 12 inches long and so this track must be 14 to 15 inches in length and my personal estimate now that I know this it would be around seven inches wide at the toes. The video witness D he comments on his original post of the video and has a lot of great answers to some of my questions. He states the strides are five feet apart and a straight line. DRA continues. We do have a lot of sightings here. Most sightings happen after the spring and this time of year it's like they migrate here, never hear of any sightings in the winter. People are seeing them more and more here. Just last night a couple ladies were out camping at the Pioneer Ridge and heard cries in the morning hours. RMSO responds. We have heard black bears cry and then we have also heard on a couple occasions with some of my team in Sasquatch Canyon what sounds like a human child crying in the woods. For a couple of years we kept finding a trackway with 19 inch tracks that traveled with one that had 14 inch tracks and once in a while we would find 7 inch Bigfoot tracks next to the one that leaves 14 inch long tracks. The following year the infant's tracks had grown to eight inches long, so we believe the human-like cry was the infant. In my opinion, here are the comments of interest 
on Dee's local community video post. Dee writes on his video, I don't know, human or something that has long and straight strides. This morning at the Sand Hill Thomas Bridge. I tried to make tracks beside those tracks. I can't even sink in with my shoe tracks. They're a couple inches bigger than my shoe size nine and a half. Where it is, it must be a juvie. The strides are five feet apart and straight. The sand was just too hard. Anyway, they were bigger than my shoe size. April comments on Dee's video. That's about the size of the prints we saw at Pioneer a couple of years ago. Long strides. Then Derek responds to April's comment. One was size 19 inches and the smaller was 15 inches. Keep in mind that two was seen just before the bridge last week. A huge one and a small one. So that's probably the small one running around exploring the area. They must live in the hills or have a cave somewhere close by. Isabel then comments, We were there last night. We seen somebody standing by the powwow ground, looked at least six feet to eight feet tall, almost as tall as those benches. D comments to Isabel, Not sure when those tracks were made. Was there this morning around 8.30 a.m. I went there because I heard someone was seen in that area. Isabel then responds, Yeah, I was going to go check where we saw that person too. Thought my eyes were playing tricks on me, but my passenger saw it too. Hi, DRA. Appreciate you for reaching out to us with the recent Bigfoot activity and evidence and sightings in and around where you live. Very interesting. How after we started digging into your report that there were so many witnesses seeing two and sometimes three Bigfoot over the last week or two in that particular remote area, including folks that also saw and measured Bigfoot shaped tracks. Even though Washington and the lower 48 boasts the most Bigfoot sightings reported in the world, I personally believe there may be a bigger population of Sasquatch in different parts of Canada. There's just fewer people there to spot them, and many people don't publicly report their sightings to the media. I hope you all enjoyed hearing about this recent activity in Ontario, Canada. Keep on watching. We're going to keep on squatching.